If you'd like to try what we make at Superstition, it's as easy as going to our website, superstitionmeadery.com, clicking on Web Store, and you're shopping. Make sure you follow us on social media because we release new products almost every week, and you might just find your next favorite craft beverage. Cheers. So Kim, I think it'd be really cool to, to share some of the lessons that we've learned about starting the Superstition Mead Club with anyone that has a winery, a meadery, or a cidery, anywhere in America, because a lot of what we've put together in the last two years is something that can pertain in, to, to anyone that does what we do. And you know, along the way, if you happen to just be a fan of, of great mead, wine, cider, you can um, you know, kind of open up your eyes to some opportunities to find some really cool products. But it's always nice to, uh, to start with a sip. So what, what are we drinking here? Griffin Star Cherry Sizer. And tell us, like, why are we drinking this? Did this just go out to our mead club? This is a new release. It just went out to our mead club this past week. It's made with tart cherries and organic Arizona apples, and it is delicious. That is delicious. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, that is beautiful. So when the pandemic started, we had to really come up with some new ways to, to do business, new ways to communicate, new ways to make new customers aware of what we're doing and our brand. And we had, as a group, sort of discussed this whole, we knew it was a possibility, right? How do you have a subscription-based program? But we had the Superstition Guild. We didn't want to interfere with the awesome service that that is. We can talk about that later and how it's different, perhaps. But, but Kim suggested, hey, let's, this is probably the best time to start a mead club. Let's figure it out. So what did we have to first do to determine if this is something that's viable for us? Right. I mean, the first step to beginning a mead club or a winery club program is to really define your goals. So one of our goals was to expand our outreach via Vino Shipper. Now, Vino Shipper is a third-party web store host, and they handle all of our taxes and regulations when we ship mead across um, state boundaries domestically. I highly suggest using Vino Shipper if you're looking to build a club or if you're looking to build a web store for your winery or meadery. They have great customer service. Um, it's a really robust program, and we've had nothing but good experiences with them, I would say. Yeah, and if you're going to do a, a more local club, if you're just going to ship, say, to people within your state, it's probably a lot easier to control all of that fulfillment, all of the compliance requirements uh, when you're handling it all on your own. And I know that's how we began. When we first started shipping to folks around the country, I had to learn about the laws, learn about what you can do, what you can't do. And it is a daunting task. And it is definitely worth the, there's a, there's a certain percentage of each sale that Vino Shipper or any third party company is going to, gonna, you know, have to assess for, for all of the services that they provide. But we can ship to 40 states. I mean, that's 80% of the country. If you go by population, it's probably 95% of the country, right? Uh, as far as all of the craft beer drinkers who are really kind of like the new fans coming into Mead, certainly Mead fans know about. The, the fact that meteries can ship because this is we're not the only people and as a matter of fact there are over a hundred meteries on Vino Shipper that ship so so go there and and don't I mean obviously we want you to enjoy superstition but but go on a on an exploration have an adventure and try different mead cider and wine on there there's other companies you definitely want to want to vet them you want to get referrals before you decide who to go to but I agree hundred percent we've worked with Vino Shipper from day one and we definitely recommend them as a service absolutely. So what are some other considerations uh, that we had to, you know, that we were kicking around back when, before we launched this program? Right, well, we wanted to allocate a certain amount of our products to the club. So when we have a new release come out for special bottles, we know that a percentage of that product is determined into the club shipments already. So we already have sold our products before they hit the shelves, basically. We also wanted to create a consistent, reliable, stable source of income in a really tumultuous time. So we knew that every month and every quarter we'd be having that influx of income from the meat club. So it was really cool. When we did um, our risk analysis at the beginning of meat club back during COVID, there really were no risks involved for us because we already had the basis of our web store built with Vino Shipper. There was no financial risk. All we were really investing was time and energy and we had a lot of that <laughs> during COVID. So, that's, that's totally true. And because we had already been shipping, it was an easier transition than starting something from scratch. Like one of the things that we figured out back in day one was, well, what box do you even put this in? Do you have a box we can show like what our shipping box looks totally. like? Totally. So there's different options in how you ship alcohol. And we, we have the absolute best box on the market. We buy ours from Uline. There's other companies out there. But it's styrofoam. It's cardboard. When we have a bottle that these are made, made for champagne bottles, actually. That way our large 750 flip tops can fit in here. But when we actually want to put e even a can or you know these smaller format bottles, there's a little bit of room 
and they will literally wiggle in the box. So we'll wrap bubble tape around them, throw some tape around there to try and keep everything nice and steady. But these are expensive. You can't spend more money on shipping boxes than we do. And it's because we care about our product from the ingredients to the label to the packaging. So you have to choose your box. And, and luckily we had already had the best options selected. Mm -hmm. Right. So after all of these considerations, the next step in planning the Meat Club was to determine what our perks would be. What would our Meat Club look like and what would make it special? And the first step was to really make sure that we were giving most of our special bottles and new releases to our club members, almost as a guarantee. Um, it's not all of them, because we do have a lot of new releases coming out all the time, but new club members get almost mostly new releases in their cases. Yeah, so we have a core lineup, like any business at, at our size has to have, and, and there's always customers that are psyched to, to get their Marion, PBJ, BSB. And so from time to time in our meat club, you're gonna get a core product, but we definitely want it to be special. There should be some benefit beyond, you know, just getting what you normally would get on the web store. Mm -hmm. So we often have even like a, a, a pre-release priority status for our meat club members. Mm -hmm. So we are treating them with so much consideration and you're gonna, you're gonna get some stuff before other people get access totally. to it. And sometimes you'll get stuff that nobody else has access like to. Like what? Um, Velvet Teddy was one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Classic. We, yeah, we released this um, one uh, bottle to our club members and I think it went online to our guild also, but like no one else got that bottle. Yeah, we had like four or five cases of that. So we do so much experimentation here at Superstition with really small batch products and we will take the time to create a label, submit it to the government, get approved, like all the things that we have to do whether it's you know five cases or you know five thousand cases, mm -hmm. and so we want to have our guild and our mead club and and certain customers that have been you know just outstanding supporters of us from day one have access to those special products. Right. And so that's definitely a perk of being a mead club member. Yeah. So when you sign up, you know we had to figure, we had options, right? Like you could say you're going to get one bottle a month, or you're going to get twelve, or a quarter, or every six months, like. You can set it up however you want. So what did we wind up deciding to do? We decided to do six bottles a month, six bottles a quarter, and 12 bottles a quarter. Now the 12 bottle a quarter club, we're probably gonna retire here pretty soon. It's the least robust of all of our clubs. Six bottles a quarter club is our most popular. Six bottles a month is um, for our super fans. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So when you sign up to our subscription program, if you ever did want to cancel this piece of cake, this sends you an eBay. Mm -hmm. So there's no, you know, you're not like stuck with this by any means. Although, we were just talking about this, and I didn't know this, but over 90% of our Mead Club customers over the last two years have been there since day one. Mm -hmm. and, and that retention rate is outstanding. So because of all of the intention and care that goes into this and the quality of the product, that's, that's saying something, right. that's really cool. Well, the perks are kind of unbeatable. Um, another one of our perks is that our members can customize their shipments, then go in and add extra bottles. So say they wanted to add a bottle of Blueberry Spaceship Box or a bottle of Safe Word, to their shipment, they can do that and get 20% off of those bottles. So that's really flexible. There's also free shipping and free packaging. So that super expensive box we were just talking about, they get that for free. And Anywhere free in the country. Shipping. Anywhere in the country. Um, so if you're in New York and you want to be a Meat Club member, sometimes shipping would be kind of prohibitive to that. We didn't want that to be the case. We wanted to eat that cost ourselves. And that really has developed loyalty because there's so many benefits to the club and people are really getting the value out of it. That's awesome. Yeah. So. Let's say that you decide to become a Mead Club member. How is that different than our guild? What sort of benefit would you have as a Mead Club member? Right, so where the Mead Club is a subscription service where you kind of like set it and forget it, you get Mead shipped to your house every month or every quarter. The guild is more of a membership um, engagement program. So you get a case of exclusively made Mead just for you. You get 20% off online and in store all year long. You get tickets to our guild gathering and much of other perks. It's more um, engagement with the staff and with ownership. Um, if you're a guild member, you get 10% off the cost of the Mead Club subscription. So it's just one more perk that you get on top of the great perks that are already part of the membership. Wow, and so we can talk about the guild in another video and how we set up that program, but I, that, that's awesome. Yeah. So you're a guild member, you're gonna to come to the great party perhaps, you're at least gonna get this amazing case that no one else can get, but you could join the Mead Club and still get you know, every quarter or every month different cool things sent to you that has really nothing to do with the guild membership and a discount on that. Right, and we find a lot of our guild members are um, Mead Club members also, and they do the monthly program, so they're getting tons of meat shipped to their house every month, and they love to collect it, they love to share it. You know, These are the people who have huge cellars full of like 
meat that's going to age really nicely for years and years to come. So it's a really good program if you love our meat. So with the Meat Club, can you think of any other aspects that we had to go through and sort of troubleshooting, how do we set this up? Or how does it compare with yeah. other things that we're doing? Well, you have to determine pricing, right? And like every bottle costs a different amount. So we had to kind of land at a specific price for what each um, shipment was going to be. And for a six bottle shipments, we decided $200 per shipment was the correct So it's amount. fixed. Like it's fixed. if you're a meat club member, you're never going to be surprised by, hey, this is going to cost more this month. So if we wind up putting in a really special bottle, we just try and take the value overall of all the bottles, and it's generally going to meet or exceed, right? Exactly. Every time. That's yep. cool. It's super cool. Um, and then, of course, the schedule. What was going to be best, that six, fun, or six bottles monthly or six bottles quarterly, deciding you know, how frequent we wanted the uh, shipments to be, and that worked out really nicely. And then we had to come up with terms and conditions, right? So all the fine print. Like, what is our cancellation policy, which we already talked about? What happens if, for some weird reason, we ran out of a product and we had to switch a new one in? Like, what is the fine print? You can go to our website to the Meat Club button and you can read our fine print there if you're curious to see how we kind of handle that. It's worked out really well so far um, for everybody. Yeah, there's always going to be something strange that happens from time to time. But I know that for our clubs, we'll do absolutely anything necessary to make the customer happy mm -hmm. when it comes to, you know, fixing any sort of issue in a timely manner. And I know that your communication is, is second to none. Thank you. And that's, I think, you know, definitely one of the reasons why our, our, our guild and our meat club are so successful. So if you're going to start your own program, you need someone like him. Good luck. And, <laughs> and, and, and that, that's true because you're going to frequently have communication back and forth if someone's like, hey, I'm going to be out of town. Can this come to a UPS box? Or, I mean, there's always these different considerations that no automated, no automated system is going to be able to, to handle for you. So there's a, there's a human behind the scenes at all times that has to be really engaging with the club and, and solving, you know, things that come up from time to time. Absolutely. So that's really important. Yeah, customer service is huge. And then even with VinoShip or sometimes with the third party, there could be, you know, an address issue. I don't know, can you think of like an example of something that, you know, we had to like actually call Vino Ship or say, hey, could you help us troubleshoot this customer service yeah, situation? Maybe like occasionally someone's discount won't go through properly. So we just okay. contact Vino Shipper right away. They make it happen that day. It's like super easy fix. Yeah, no one wants to wonder what's happening with their credit card or a charge. So we definitely keep all of that completely transparent and we solve those things immediately. Mm -hmm. So that's really important to running a program that has a 90% retention rate, right? Right, absolutely. And so I'd say the next big part of running the Meat Club is advertising and marketing. So when we first started our Meat Club, we ran a huge email campaign, a huge social Ooh. media campaign, and we got probably about 120 members in that first week, which was like a that's wonderful, awesome. robust um, jump for us into that program. You know, we weren't really sure if it was going to be um, a very successful program. When we started, we weren't sure how many people would want to sign up for it. So it was awesome to see that response, I think, and to see that retention rate that we've had. So we still maintain marketing on the Meat Club. Um, it's in our weekly newsletter. We do social media campaigns for it. We get probably two or three new members a month, I'd say. So it's a steadily, like, slow-growing program for us, which is really nice. That's cool. Yeah, and we've got almost 200 members now. And, you know, we've done some promotions through Untapped. Uh, we have uh, a real a lot of engagement um, on our Untapped mm -hmm. account. I, I, I forget, it's like almost 200,000 reviews have, have happened on our products. And so we know that the craft beer community is engaging with our products and our brand in that way. And so we've tried to reach out. We've gotten some more memberships by, by working through that, that channel as well. And I think it's really noteworthy that most of our fans come from the craft beer world. I know that's, that's how I started in this whole thing anyways, right? And it, it turns out that breweries aren't really allowed to ship across state lines. There are companies that can do that. We, we sell products to Tavor, for example, and they're based in Washington State, and they can ship beer, mead, cider. Uh, I know I've ordered like a bottle of, uh, of bourbon before on the internet, but that wasn't coming from the supplier. We're, we're unique as a winery in that we really can ship to 40 states around the country. And this all goes back uh, in part to Jess Jackson from Kendall Jackson, who was a lawyer who started a winery and got involved with organizing the wine business back in the 80s. And they specifically made it uh, a, a thing where wineries can ship across state lines. Mm -hmm. So that's really kind of cool. And letting the craft beer world know that, hey, you can actually go right to our website and order 
all the products that we have available there and have it shipped right to your home or your office even. That's really kind of cool. Of course, you have to be 21. That's another thing. And, and even when it comes to promoting this, it's important to know that on your social media channels, you definitely want to have a disclaimer that says 21 plus or 21 only, or you're never going to be able to promote a post or a story on Instagram that has anything to do with alcohol. Right. Yep. Well, and I'd say the last part about building the meat club is actually building the release, getting it packaged and shipped out. So that's super important. And again, we use Vino Shipper for that. You can build a custom case on Vino Shipper and have that be your release product. You can go in, email your customers directly from Vino Shipper. You can go in through a link in that email and make customizations on their shipment. And then you can process payments on Vino Shipper. So it's all set up right there. It's super easy. Processing payments is my favorite day because it's just click a button. Super easy. It's really gratifying. <laughs> That's awesome. And shipping labels come out of the printer. You're ready to attach it to a box. They are, they've really streamlined the fulfillment process as much as possible. But you still need to have, besides someone awesome running the program and handling customer service behind the scenes, you need a team. Mm -hmm. And we have a team at Superstition that manages our web store and every day orders are coming in and another consideration is the day that you actually send products out so on Tuesdays we do our releases almost all the time um, today happens to be national peanut butter day and so we're doing a special release today and but most of the time it's on Tuesdays and we do that so that our, our team has a couple of days to get things packed up and shipped out before the weekend hits. And right now, it's nice and cold, but in July in Arizona, you don't wanna have your products stuck in a warehouse for a couple of days, so we're always doing our releases on a Tuesday, and I think that whatever day you pick, if it's in the beginning of the week, you're gonna have time for you and your team to process all those orders, handle anything if it happens to come up from customer service, get the products on the way before the weekend, and people wanna open up a box and enjoy their products, typically on Friday or Saturday right. anyways. Our packaging team tends to pack up the meat club cases in advance, so they're ready to go. They can add the customized bottles into the cases if that happens to you know, be part of the one case and then uh, we usually ship out the day of or the day after the payments go through. And I know once a month, the week before the release, we have, we have Tuesday meetings in the afternoon for our sales and production team. And I know that you and Sam and I were always sitting around and, and we're trying to figure out, okay, how are we gonna make this six or, or 12 you know, bottle box really special? And so you have to plan ahead, right? And so that way we know what's going out. We're always like at least a week in advance of every single shipment that goes out in our subscription program. Mm -hmm. So being organized, having your checklist there so that you don't skip anything, that's super important. Like with running a business, being organized is huge. Right. One special thing that we do for a meat club, I don't know if you talked about this yet, um, are reserve bottles. So like this guy, Morning of Adonis, has been in a reserve for a number of years. It hasn't been for sale for a while. And you'll see reserve bottles go out into um, our meat club shipments pretty frequently, actually. So it's another perk that's kind of special. That is really cool. So you can't buy this on our web store. It may or may not be available in our reserve program in our Phoenix restaurant or our Prescott restaurant, but you don't necessarily know that. And so that's actually one of the challenges is sometimes, okay, there might be a month where 10 new things come out at Superstition. There might be a month where two things come out. And I'd say we're gonna average one a week this year. I know we have over 40 brand new products that we're gonna make this year on our production schedule. That doesn't count collaborations that come out like, hey, I'm gonna be in town in next month. Like, let's make something no one's ever done before. So we have so many new things coming out. But from time to time, there's a, there's, a, there's a gap to fill, right? And we have to identify that, and that's a great opportunity for us to bring something back from the past that no one can get. It was once for sale, perhaps, on our web store, and then we get to put that bottle in, and that's just awesome. I mean, what a, what a great perk. It's super cool. It's really good for the collectors. That's cool. Yeah, especially if you, you, know, you do live out of state and you're part of our program, and you can't just swing by Phoenix whenever you feel like grabbing a reserve bottle, so that's yeah. really cool. Very cool. So when you're a Mead Club member, the perks include 20% off additional bottles that you might add onto your case, free shipping and free packaging, and you get a set it and forget it subscription service sent to your house on a monthly or quarterly basis. There's no uh, cancellation or obligation policy. You can cancel at any time. Send us an email. It's no big deal. That's cool. And as a company, you're going to have a routine monthly or quarterly or whatever the time period is you set for your club. It could even be annually. And it's also going to provide you an opportunity to create 
a connection with a core group of customers that really care about your brand and your products, and they're often gonna be the ones that are taking these things to, to bottle shares or having a dinner party and telling their friends about it. So it's a cool way, it's for us like, I think anytime we have an opportunity to create a connection with our consumer, to share with them the authenticity and the intention behind everything that we do, that that's a great thing. And so having a mead club, a wine club, a cider club, whatever it is that you're gonna do from your winery, or even if you're a brewery watching this and you're able to ship within your state perhaps, that's an outstanding way to create a connection with your consumer that's hard to do in, in many other ways. Cheers. Cheers. God, that is good. <laughs> <laughs>